So this video is on analysis of fourth bar mechanism. So velocity and acceleration results will be extracted through this simulation. So to start with, first I will construct a four bar mechanism. First I will create the part. So I'll take metric standard mm to create. I will create the base link. Take the length is 60 mm. So length of the link, this element is 60. So finish sketch. Extrude. I will extrude to a length of uh, 2 mm. I save this as base element For, to create other elements i will not once again sketch i will just take a copy of this save as save as crank I'll change the dimension. Crank length is 25. Finish sketch, save. I'll take a copy again. connecting rod I will change the length of the connecting rod length is 70 mm save I need one more copy rocker length of the rocker arm so 45 mm So all four parts are created, base, connecting rod, crank, and rocker. So now I create assembly. I will import the parts. First base. I will ground this. Place grounded at origin. Importing crank. I 
I'll constraint I will align these planes first aligning the planes so now aligning the axis selecting these two axes so so only possible moment is like this right the only possible moment that is rotation about the axis now bringing another part connecting rod aligning the axis with the crank and aligning the planes so bringing the fourth element rocker Aligning the plane with the base element and then the axis Aligning the axis of the rocker with with the hole of the connecting rod. So this forms uh, four bar mechanic. Crank connecting rod rocker. The assembly works like this. Now, how to give motion for the crank? That I will show using this uh, option. First, I will save this. Let's say this assembly is a four bar mechanism. For simulation, select this option environment under the dynamic simulation. You will get this option, this window simulation player. And you see this, uh, once this environment is entered, we can make out the changes. And here it is, uh, now it is converted into joints. So when I move the cursor, you can make out, uh, it, it is showing the joints and degrees of freedom. I need to give rotation for the crank so I will select this joint so right click so go to properties 
and see there's only one degrees of freedom that is possible and that is uh, rotation about z axis this is the only motion that is possible that's why it is showing that degrees of freedom r indicates rotation so go to edit imposed motion select enable imposed motion select velocity and give constant value so i will give 1800 degrees per second say okay The motion is like this okay it rotates with given uh, rotates for given speed velocity and you can use this option trace so that you can know the path so i will use this option trace here i want to trace this point so when crank moves makes rotation i will take this data so you can make out uh, the simulation here and the path of the point that is by using trace option so now to get the velocity and acceleration data so go to this option output graph so x-axis is time and y-axis is uh, what you select in the list it may be velocity or acceleration i'll select velocity so velocity data so acceleration if you want acceleration you can go for acceleration and select acceleration details okay and so this is the procedure to get the velocity and acceleration details through the simulation